My name is Tony McNally. I am a principal scientist in the research department here at ECMWF, and I'm a British national. As a principal scientist, we have a responsibility for a small team of scientists, in my case, working specifically on satellite assimilation. Satellite assimilation is where we try to use observations from space to feed information into the forecast model to try and reduce errors and try and ultimately improve the forecast. OK, well, we're in my office now, where I spend most of my time. And at the moment, we're looking at some results from a very interesting study related to Hurricane Sandy, which hit the US coast with huge devastation in 2012, in October. We're interested in how satellites were, were crucial to the very successful forecasting of that event. We gave people a lot of notice five, six days in advance. And our particular concern is satellite data. Now, satellites can observe parts of the ocean which we can't observe with, say, balloon measurements or ship or aircraft. And in this particular case, we found that the track of the storm that was forecast really depended on having this crucial satellite information. If we take the satellite information away, the track of the storm was completely wrong. We would have given no warning to the public, and that would have cost hundreds, possibly thousands of lives. So what Stefano has uh, done in this study now, he's compared the, the observations from the new satellite, METOP-B, and to the METOP-A instrument, and his uh, results are suggesting that the new instrument is, is at least as good as the old one, or even better. And that's great news, and it makes us feel very good at ECMWF, because we can pass that information on to UMETSAT and ESA, the data producers, and say that all that effort they've put in and all that money they've put in in industry and in the agencies to produce this observation has done a good job. And we can now take this satellite and use it operationally in our weather forecasting system. What Sean's doing here is he is simulating potential satellite observations for the future. And that's a very important job because these things have to be planned 10, 20 years in advance. The space agencies have to know what to launch. And by simulating these observations, we can assess the impact of a particular instrument in our system if it were launched tomorrow. ECMWF are the only people who can really do this because ultimately we would be the users of these observations if they came here tomorrow. We can assess the impact in our system, we can look at how the forecasts improve, and we can feed back to the data provider so the wrong decisions don't get made and the right thing gets launched. Here on the big screen we have a real-time picture showing how the atmosphere is evolving, starting with the, the initial conditions, what the atmosphere is doing right now, but then using the forecast model to evolve that forwards in time. Now, my background's in physics, and the big thing in physics is understanding how things work, taking them apart, putting them back together. And if you like that sort of problem, this is the most complex, most fascinating problem you could possibly imagine. It's the Earth's atmosphere with all its motions and complexities going on. But more than the scientific challenge, I think it's very, very motivating to know that if we get it right, if we solve this problem, and we can forecast successfully in time, we change people's lives very positively. We help them travel safely. We help them live their lives much more easily. And I find that extremely motivating and worthwhile.